Hello, this is George Edmondson with MotionBeFX.com. Today, we're talking about the brand new plugin, M-Style Glitch. Glitch! On to the tutorial. Once you have downloaded M-Style Glitch via M-Installer, it can be located in your transitions, as well as your titles. If you'd like to get a real-time preview, just skim over any of these overlay effects and it will show up over in your canvas. So you can see here we have multiple overlay effects with some really cool glitchiness, awesomeness happening. And then we have several typography presets. So to apply, just apply like any other overlay effect. Simply click and drag on top of the clip that you would like to affect. You can see here that we've got this glitchiness happening. So these are working as adjustment layers. So anything that you apply, it is going to be in layer order. So that is obviously affecting the clip beneath. Over in our inspector, you can see that we have animations in and out along with mask height. So you can see that we can make changes there. We have our mask position that we can click and drag up and down. Then we have wriggle amount, frequency, we have multiple distortions amounts, and then prisms that we can toggle on and off. So you can really fine tune the look that you want here in the bar distortions. And of course you can do this with any of these. So why don't we apply another one? We can drag this color malfunction on top of our next clip here. And then you can see how that is affecting that clip. Over in our inspector, we have a red channel scale, so we can scale that out. We have, we can bring it in, or we can bring it to zero if you wanted only the green and blue channel to be showing. Then we have our glitch stretch, our glitch movement, so that is going to affect how that is happening as the video is playing back. We can take a look at a few more of these. So we have this glow glitches, we have glitch area. Then we have this color glitch zone here. And I want you to see that there are some really unique on-screen controls with this one. As you can see, you can drag this entire area around and you can scale that down. You can use any of these corners here to drag that out bring it over so let's say we wanted just his face kind of glitching out really really cool there you go just kind of glitches out right over top of his face where that mask is over in our inspector we have the effect direction we can do left or right so if you wanted maybe his face glitching out to that side there you go and then if you wanted to make any mask position width height round this feather uh, adjustable parameters are beneath we have distortions that you can toggle on and off. So if you wanted to just make like a crazy cool effect like this, you can do so there. I like the distortions, so I'm gonna leave those on. And then we have additional adjustable parameters beneath. Now, of course, we also have some titles. We have a caption here. You can see it kind of starts up top and then glitches down to the bottom. And then we have a lower third a couple lower thirds, and then we've got a couple titles as well. So again, just click and drag in on top of your timeline there. You see that it just kind of pops in. We do have an on-screen control for here for the position. So if we wanted to kind of move that over, we do so here. And then over in our inspector, of course, we can do our content scale. We can change the text, the font, and you can change the options for the distortion effect here by toggling, or you can change where that distortion is happening on your title. All right, and of course, don't forget that we have some awesome transitions over here. So in our transitions, again, if you skim over, you'll get a real-time preview in your canvas of how those are gonna look. So we've got some cool static rolls, tape rolls, transfer malfunction, I mean, a lot of neat, neat looking transitions here. And then we have a pre-animated section here. So just, again, simply click and drag in between two clips. 
and that just glitches out and has that transition there up at our inspector on this one we have distortion strength we have aberration strength we have hue offset as you can see there and then saturation offset and brightness offset and again there are several uh transitions so why don't we grab one more that looks cool defragment looks pretty cool so we'll drag that in and you can just see how that is working over in our inspector on this one we have a pixelate scale there that you can click and drag and bring that up or down however you see fit we have our pixelate center so let's see uh, if we wanted to show his eye or something like that i can push that over on x a little bit we have pixelate map levels and then saturation flickering and brightness flickering and that's about it from me. Thank you so much for checking out this quick overview and tutorial 4M style glitch, which is now available on motionvfx.com. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.